To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. Like a river glorious is God's perfect peace over all victorious in its bright increase. Perfect yet it floweth fuller every day. Perfect yet it groweth deeper all the way. The Blessings of Obedience February 7th Israel pledges to obey God's commandments. Then he took the book of the covenant and read in the hearing of the people, and they said, All the Lord all that the Lord has said we will do and be obedient. Exodus twenty four verse seven. Preparation was now made for the ratification of the covenant according to God's direction. Here the people received the conditions of the covenant. They made a solemn covenant with God, typifying the covenant made between God and every believer in Jesus Christ. The conditions were plainly laid before the people. They were not left to misunderstand them. When they were requested to decide whether they would agree to all the conditions given, they were unanimously consented to obey every obligation. They had already consented to obey God's commandments. The principles of the law were now particularized that they might know how much was involved in covenanting to obey the law, and they accepted the specifically defined particulars of the law. If the Israelites had obeyed God's requirements, they would have been practical Christians. They would have been happy, for, their, for they would have been keeping God's ways and not following the inclinations of their natural hearts. Moses did not leave them to misconstrue the words of the Lord or to misapply, misapply his requirements. He wrote all the words of the Lord in a book that they might be referred to afterward. In the mount he had written them, as Christ himself dictated them. Bravely did the Israelites speak the words promising obedience to the Lord. After hearing this, his covenant read the audience of the people. They said, All that the Lord has said, we will do and be obedient. Exodus 24 verse 7. Then the people were set apart and sealed to God. A sacrifice was offered to the Lord. A portion of the blood of the sacrifice was sprinkled upon the altar. This signified that the people had consecrated themselves, body, mind, and soul, to God. A portion was sprinkled upon the people. This signified that through the sprinkled blood of Christ, God graciously accepted them as his special treasure. Thus, the Israelite entered into a solemn covenant with God. Stayed upon Jehovah, hearts are fully blessed, finding as he promised perfect peace and rest. Stayed upon Jehovah, Hearts are fully blessed, finding as he promised, perfect peace and rest. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. Now, may the peace which surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds on Jesus Christ.